Hello everyone, this is Rod the Brazilian English teacher. This video is gonna be special and about Madonna. Hello, I'm John, Rod's friend. Please subscribe to his channel, Rod the Brazilian English teacher on YouTube right now for a lot of free content. As he says, thank you, see you. Happy birthday, Madonna. It is Madonna's birthday. I only teach English because of Madonna. I saw Madonna on TV. I was seven years old and I told my father to sign me up to a school to learn English because I wanted to understand what that girl was saying. My first day in class, I asked my teacher what dress you up meant because it was early 1985. Madonna not only shaped me to learn the language that I love today, but she also shaped my character to be persistent, never give up my ideas, and be strong, because I needed to be strong in my life. I chose some quotations. Actually, I know them by heart. I'm gonna talk about Madonna through a period of time. Madonna has a 38-year career in music, and she has always been on top. The first quote is, there are family that I consider friends, there are friends that I consider family. I learned that it's really true. Friends are very important, family is very important. Who is your family? Who are your friends? You decide. One other thing that she says, during her song, American life, she sings, I try to be a boy, I try to be a girl, I try to be a mess, I try to be the best. I guess I did it wrong, that's why I wrote this song. This type of modern life is not for me. This type of modern life is it for free. Madonna always talked about the American dream, and I can say that Madonna has lived the American dream so far. In one other song of hers, Joan of Arc, she sings, even hearts made of steel may break. And she tells that even even though you are strong all the time or you seem to be or try to be, we are not because every heart breaks. She tells that her heart has been broken many times. It's been more than 35 years that I'm a fan. Because of Madonna, today I have a career in English teaching. That's what I love to do. There's one other thing that she said, I never forget. If you want to be the best, give your best. Practice practice practice. Madonna has brought to the world a lot of things, a lot of new trends, a lot of new choreographies. Most of all, and most importantly, she brought talent. She brought resistance. She brought persistence. And she brought a message to the world. In 2016, she was chosen as Woman of the Year by the Billboard magazine. She said the only wrong thing she did was sticking around because she didn't give up. She did things in the 90s that most people didn't like, but she went on. And one thing that I identify with Madonna very much is that reinvention is very important. Every new record that she puts out, every new song, she has a new style. She reinvents herself in rhythms and sounds. In the 1990s, she set the world on fire with voguing, a kind of style that nobody knew at that time. And then she brought it to the mainstream. And it was a huge hit, the most important role in her career, the leading role as Evita, the wife of the president of Argentina, directed by Alan Parker in 1996, put Madonna where she wanted to be, the best performance of her life. She could sing and discover new, new answers for her voice. She sang Don't Cry For Me Argentina and the whole world sang it with her. In 1996, Madonna had her first child. In 2000, she had her second child. Madonna has adopted not only one, but four children. Madonna is a trailblazer. Madonna was the first superstar with the Who's That Girl tour. She traveled the world. In 1990, she came back again, sweeping the world with her Blonde Ambition tour, with the iconic Cone Bra, with a two-hour concert singing and dancing. Madonna was the only artist at that time that could sing live and dance at the same time. There was a huge preparation before each concert. Madonna always gets 
what she wants. She's political, she's sassy, but most importantly, she's courageous and she inspires us. When I started learning English because of Madonna, I never thought English would become my career because I am a disabled person as everybody knows, everybody who watches this channel knows. I discovered that teaching English was something that I could do sitting. I always learned with Madonna. We are criticized. You can talk about me, but I will keep going. That was really important because being different, being disabled, not following the patterns is not easy. Alongside with my parents, who never allowed me to play the victim card, Madonna was always there with her lyrics, teaching me how to be brave, be true, and tell the truth. But she's still on top. Her latest album, Metamax, was released in 2019 when she moved out to Portugal because her son David wanted to be a professional soccer player. She recorded a masterpiece. If you have the chance, listen to Metamax, listen to Like a Prayer, listen to Rain, listen to Confessions on a Dance Floor, listen to I'll Remember, listen to You'll See, listen to one of my favorites, American Life. You'll see several Madonnas there because she's a persona, she's a chameleon. Madonna's gonna be around for a long time. If it wasn't for Madonna, I wouldn't be an English teacher today. I have seen Madonna live twice, in 2008 during the Stick and Sweet tour and 2012 during the MDNA tour. These were the most important concerts I've seen in my life because I could see my idol. And thank you Madonna for unconsciously helping me have a profession as well and giving me a voice in another language to um, help people learn English. To be, most importantly, consistent and strong. You inspire me, you inspire millions. I am honoring Madonna. I needed to do this. Thank you very much, Madonna. Thank you very much to those who watched. Keep being on top. Thank you so much. Forever and always. You are the queen of thought, indeed. Thank you all for watching. Happy birthday, Madonna. Thank you.